what's up guys welcome to the momentum trading lab and in today's video i'm going to show you how to use top steps new online trading platform called top step x and without any further ado let's get into it okay so this is the standard layout on the interface so you'll see right here is a trading view chart so everything right here is the same as what it would be on trading view so you have access to all the different tools right here you can also access the default indicators so one thing that you want to keep in mind is if you want to change symbols you can click here on symbol search and then click forward slash and then it will show you all the available assets that you can trade on this platform so let's just choose es so now it's on es so the next um, important thing that you want to keep in mind when using this platform is these little colors on these items so you'll see for the order right now it's on dow and if i go to gold it will change everything that that has this blue icon linked to it so ideally you want to have this linked to your trading view chart as well so you'll see right here i am on gold so the order and the dom and the time and sales are all on gold but on your chart it's still on es so to fix that go back to symbol search and then if it's a blue color then you just type in blue and it will show you the blue link so if that color was white then you would have just searched white but in this case it is blue so let's link that as blue right so now you can see the chart is on gold so if we go back to let's say on the dom we go to nasdaq and now everything is synced up so now on the chart we have the nasdaq as well as on the other components as well so one thing that you can do is so i'm just going to remove the time and sales i'm going to remove the dom all right so let's say you want to try two different assets so you can click on any of the add components and we want to add another order component so i'm gonna drag it and put it right here and we want another chart component let's quickly fix this layout all right so now what we can do is we can use this order component give it a different color let's make it white and then on this chart let's search for white give it the white link so now this order component and this chart will be synchronized so now if we go to dow the chart and the order component is both synced up and still right here if we go to the blue link let's choose something else let's choose es you'll see this changed to es and this changed to es so that's a nice feature on this platform so let's have a look at the other components on the trading floor area so if you go to the bottom it will give you information on your different accounts you can see here's my different accounts positions so right now i don't have any open positions but you will access that information right here any open orders will appear under this tab so for this one let me open another account all right so here you can see the trade the last trades that you took the entry date the entry price exit price p l and the fees quotes is just some different um, information on the different assets and then i like this one called told so on told you'll see it shows you the s p nasdaq crude oil and gold it will show you what the top step traders are currently doing so right here it shows you that 61 percent of the top step traders are long on es and 39 percent of them are short and on the nasdaq 72 percent of the top step traders are long and 28 percent are short so that's some nice information because we know that the market tends to go against the majority so this could give, give you some nice um insight into the market all right so that's basically everything that you need to know for the platform the trading platform side so let's go right here to the left and we, let's go through these settings so right here you have the trader hub so this will give you different market information such as the news and economic events and then there's also you have access to the top step um, x platform or twitter if you click on this this will take you to top step tv so you can listen to these guys while you trade and then just below top step tv you have performance stats okay so this account is only one day old so 
yesterday um that was my pnl and then today i've just quickly opened and closed the trade i was just testing something that will show you your daily pnl the daily balance so yesterday this was the starting balance and this is where i am today with your daily stats so yesterday four trades took four trades four winning trades zero losses today took two trades but this was just the open and a close i was just quickly testing something but this will show you all of your different stats and then next up is the settings and this is um pretty important part so this is where you access the trade copier so you can select the leader account so right now the leader is the account that i am on right now and then you can enable which accounts you want to follow the leader account so it will copy so if you open a trade on this account it will copy it to the enabled accounts that you have enabled right here and then right here you have your risk to reward settings so here you can indicate to the platform that for every trade you take you want to risk $300 to potentially make $1,000 and then it will move your stop loss and your TP according to these parameters so it will do it automatically for you and you can adjust your personal daily loss limit the default on top step is a thousand dollars so if you hit a thousand they will stop you from um, trading for the rest of the day i like to have mine at 500 so you can change that right there so if you change something then you just need to save and then you'll see that your daily loss limit value will update right there so yeah at the top it will indicate the balance the minimum loss limit so if you hit this amount then your account will be liquidated your realized daily pnl your unrealized daily pnl and this will show you off how far you are from your daily loss limit okay so next up i just want to quickly show you the different ways that you can open and close positions so for this i am going to use the um 150k practice account all right so if you go to order type so we are on the blue link you can you have the option to choose between market limit stop market and trailing stop so me personally i use limits for most of my entries so what you can do is you can right click on the chart and then you can go to buy limit and you can say i want to buy three contracts if the price gets to this area right here so i'm just going to move it up so it can trip us in okay so now we are in this position and you'll see top step automatically moved my stop loss for me to only lost 300 dollars and you can move that around if you want to so let's say you want your to move your tp above that eye then you just click on it and move it into position something like that and then what you can also do is if you want to quickly close your position then you can just click on close position and then it will close everything okay so that is one way that you can enter the other way is you can select the amount of contracts right here so you, let's change that to three and then you can say buy and it will place that for you right there on the chart so then you can move it to where you want it or you can go to market press buy it will trip you in and then you can move your stop loss to where it needs to be the same with with your take profit and then the nice thing is what you can do is let's say you want to take some profit right here just right click limit sell one all right so i'm just going to quickly move that so it takes us out so i just want you to see how it will automatically adjust these values when you sell a contract see if we can get that to sell okay so the order is filled you'll see that is still in position and it just adjusted according to your position size okay let's quickly close this again so i'm just gonna press the flatten all so this will just flatten everything on your account okay so let's say you don't want to use the risk reward parameters so you can come here switch it off by disabling this button automatically apply default risk and profit parameters switch that off okay so let's quickly enter a short position three contracts sell okay, let's do a market okay so we are short right now and as you'll see we don't have the risk and reward stop loss and tp but we can do it uh, manually ourselves by right clicking on the chart and you'll see it gives you the op the option um for a buy stop so we want to 
buy back three contracts if price gets back above this high and now let's say you want to stagger your tps right click limit buy one you can add another one and another one all right so that is the different ways that you can open and close your positions on this platform all right then we are out again i just wanted to use that for the example all right that's been the top step x platform if you've enjoyed this video please consider hitting that like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one